to do here, I'll try and do off the cuff, is um, explain to you that the people whose work is being used next, i.e. the uh, crew from um, Loose Change and the and considerable fiddle uh, uh, um, com uh, compilations done by uh, Anthony Lawson, they wouldn't like uh, their work being used here um, with uh, by Max, who of course is trying to say no planes were used anywhere at all, and that holograms and what have you were in the building. Even this girl here, look, this only arrived just before I started making this. Can you read that? It says, um, uh, uh, "Would you uh, hologram? Would you mean uh, there was a there was a plane, a holographic plane, but a plane?" This is confused. Me. Simon tells there wasn't any plane. Only on the tapes, I know someone who saw and heard both of them. Uh, he also saw people, luggage burning, etc, etc. Et and this is, you've got honest, normal people looking for honest answers. And people insisting that there are holograms and things like that. <laughs> it's, it's fantasy. Now, the work coming up, I think it's going long. Uh, long and probably about 10 feet long, or 10 feet wide. What could you see on the ground, if anything, other than dirt and ash and... Now, this is all from the same report. I believe this is a loose change presentation. It definitely is coming up. And I know that Rowan Avery, Burns well, and know, Brown wouldn't Somerset like County it. Coroner told the Houston Chronicle, it looked like somebody just dropped a bunch of metal out of the sky. I think that's Jason Burns. In the Washington Burmers. Post. It looked like someone took a scrap truck, dug a 10-foot ditch, and dumped trash into it. And as for the passengers, I stopped being coroner after about 20 minutes, because there were no bodies there. In the Pittsburgh Review, I have not, to this day, seen a single drop of blood. Not a drop. It would seem that, on one day, for the second time in history, an entire plane, along with its passengers, disappeared upon impact. Now we go, that's a presentation by Loose Change. They despise the work of, um, of Simon Shack, which is being promoted by Max Malone. And um, Max Malone... You, even probably knowing that, knowing Alan Lawson would be totally out. He's got a video stands that prior on his um, channel saying, Busted, um, Simon Shack, Busted. And this, for you to take one of his videos and to throw it in with your uh, beliefs about no planes hitting the tower, he would be offended. Now, this is Alan Lawson, and he's done some very honest, hard working investigation into this, um, uh, this event and for you to just take a little bit of it and to throw it into your mix, I don't think you'd like it at all. Successful demolitions require that all structural support columns collapse at virtually the same time. If they don't, or if something else goes wrong, the result will look something like this. This is World Trade Center 7 just before it collapsed on September the 11th, 2001. It had not been hit by an aircraft. It had been damaged by falling debris and fire. But by 5.20 p.m. most of the fires had been extinguished. Although the building was 47 stories high, it doesn't fall sideways, nor collapse uneven. For this to have happened, all of the building's vertical supports must have given way at almost exactly the same time. Yet the Federal Emergency Management Agency reported that the collapse was due primarily to fire. But what does it look like to you? What does it look like to me? It looks like Max has been around using other people's work to suit himself, take it, not give them any credit for it, as usual, and to, to take people whose views are opposite his and yet to use snippets of their work to support his lie is wrong. All of us believe, who have done the investigation, no plane hit Pentagon, no plane hit, the, hit, was hit that field, and we don't need convincing or reconvincing about that. But for you then to change around the facts about planes actually hitting the building where there are over a hundred independent shots. I mean, you've got the news, and then you've got some 80 odd shots on top of that. I've presented some of them in my channel, the pent bomb footage, when it came out, I was the first to shove it up there. It's there. And uh, for you to turn around and to say that it's all manufactured is abominable. And especially using other people's work to support it when they don't support what you're saying. Another fail for Max Malone. If 